Okay, good morning, class. So today we're looking at financial maths. At this point, we said that exercise one deals with grade eleven finance, which you had to do already. I think we looked at one or two problems that you had with the homework. Right, so um, then we went on to the, 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 the derivation of the use of the formula for annuities. We see that the annuities formula is defined as future value is equal to x into 1 plus i to the exponent n minus 1 all over i. Where we see the future value is but you'll get in the future, the lump sum in the future. Your X is your monthly installment, or your quarterly installment, or your yearly installment. Normally, it's a constant value, consistent value. Okay? Then you've got your interest. For I, your N is your time in years. You also use it as number of installments. Minus 1 over I, and your interest. You also noted that. If you have a monthly investment, your interest must be compounded monthly. If it's a yearly investment, your interest must be compounded yearly. If it's quarterly investment, your interest must be compounded quarterly. However, if they are not of the same, then you must get it the same. So if it's a compounded monthly, but it's a quarterly investment, we're going to change the quarterly or the monthly interest to a quarterly interest so that the, the, the investment or the frequency of investment is in line with the, with the um, uh, interest. Okay. So uh, we're looking at the work example and the first example is on page 63. We're doing the examples for exercise 2 which is on page 65. We are told that suppose that Deca invests 500 rand every month for the period of 8 months starting in one month from now we also said that all these investments will start in a month's time ok and that's how the formula works if you want the full lesson and how they derive the formula you can find it in the description box below ok so <coughs> If it does not start in one month's time and starts immediately, then there's a, a variation that takes place on the form. Okay. So, sorry? What's the if you go through the, 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 the sums for, for the exercise, you'll see. Okay. We are told then that the interest is 9% per annum compounded monthly. Calculate the value of the investment at the end of 8 months. So, in other words, we're going to calculate your FV value. So, X, which is 500 then, into 1 plus I, your interest rate is 9%, so 0, 0,09, over 12 to the exponent 12 times, and it's 8 months, so it's 8 over 12, minus 1 over I, which is 0,09. Now, some of you would say you can just write an 80, absolutely correct, as your N could also denote, number of payments. Okay. But I use N to rather be number in years, so it's in conformance with what we have done when we are dealing with compound interest and the other formulas as well. Okay. So let's substitute that in the calculator. Firstly we've got five hundred into one plus zero comma zero nine over twelve the exponent 8 minus 1 over 0, 0,09 over 12 oops 1 plus anyway I put the minus 
then she has made a total investment of 4,000. Not so? So for over eight, eight months, she has gained an interest of 106 rand and 59 cents. Okay? You guys would think that is little, no? It is little. But as you um, invest money for a longer time, of course you will get more interest. Okay? It's kind of, I mean, Alright. Okay, let's look at the next one. Question two. So here we are told that Mr. Klein opens a savings account for his son's future education. Again, when you say when it's an investment or pension fund or annuity there is always going to be future value ok Michael what are you doing on the phone? you know the subject would you like to explain to them? maybe they will understand better Okay, he opens the savings account for his son's uh, future education. On the account, he deposits 850 rand and then makes a monthly. Okay, uh, I think we cut off there. On opening the account, the account he deposits 850 rand. Okay? and then makes a monthly deposit of 850 rand at the end of each month for a period of 10 years. The interest rate remains at 12% per annum compounded monthly. So what is the difference here compared to the one that we had before? Remember we said when it starts immediately, it's going to be different. There's going to be a variation on the formula. Can you see that before? So what happens is instead of having 12 investments for the year, for 10 years, which is going to give you 120 investments, is actually one extra investment. Can you see that before? Remember we said here, earlier on, if it starts in one month's time, the formula is straight. Okay, you will use the formula as is. However, if it does not start immediately, and if it does not start at the end of the month, in one month's time, then that means to say there's a variation on the formula. You must check. So again, the future value formula is Fv equals x into 1 plus i to the exponent n minus 1 all over i. So what is the variation? Is 1 installment x. Okay? That's the variation. If you calculate how much Mr. Klein will have accumulated at the end of 10 years, so we go with the formula, if V is equal to, so we're calculating the future value, X which is 850 Rand into 1 plus your interest here is 12% per annum compounded monthly, so 0, 0,12 over 12 to the exponent 12 times, uh, 12 times uh, 10, because that's 10 years, plus 1, because that starts immediately, minus 1 all over I, which is 0, 0,12 over 12. My future value now gives us 850,000, I'm sorry, 850 rand uh, into 1 plus 0,12 over 12 to the exponent uh, 12 times 10 plus 1 minus 1 over 0 0.12. So it gives you 900 
Okay. So if we look at this here, okay, look, then in, in question 2.2 it says, calculate how much interest was earned. So this is 2.1, 2.2, so the interest is going to be calculated in such a way, we need to see how much money did you earn from investing this 850 rand for 121 months. Okay. Why was I making 850 rand investments at 12 times 10 plus 1 month? It's 121 months. Minus. It's actually the other way around. Okay. Because that is the amount of money he puts into the company. Then the total amount that he gets out is 198,338 rand and 21 cents. By subtracting those two, we will get the interest hand. Okay, so we subtract 850 multiplied by 121. So he gets an interest of 95,488 rand and 21 cents. Okay, any confusion here? Let's go to number three, the third example. The third example, we are told that on the 25th birthday, Solid decides to accumulate 5 million rand by your 50th birthday. So how many years later is that? 25 years later. Okay, so N is going to be 25 in this case. She wants 50 million. So which value would 50 million be? Would it be your X or your P or what? 5 million is going to be your FB value. She wants that which is 50 in the future. Okay? So we said N is going to be 20, 25 from this year. Okay. She plans to make equal monthly payments into an account. So equal monthly payments. So we are actually going to calculate X, the unknown to be X in this case. She plans to make equal monthly payments into an account that pays an interest of 10% per annum compounded monthly. So she's making equal monthly payments into an interest rate compounded monthly. Okay? We saw her made, makes her first payment a month after her 25th birthday. So a month later, in other words. Is there a variation on the end value? There's no variation on the end value. And the last payment on the 50th birthday. Determine how much will she deposit monthly to accumulate 5 million on the 50th birthday. Okay, so we have enough information to apply the formula. So if B is equal to X into 1 plus I to the exponent N minus 1 all over I. If B, of course, is 5 million equals X into 1 plus 0, 0, 1 over 12 to the exponent 12 times. Please report to the board. 25 minus 1? All, all over I, which is 0, 1 over 1. Okay? So what we need to do here is cross multiply. So that's going to give you 5 million multiplied by 0, 1 over 12. So that is actually equal to x into that bracket. So I divide both sides, so I'll just write it out a little bit. So 
So I'm going to divide both sides by this bracket here. Okay? So x is simply equal to 5 million multiplied by 0, 1 over 12 all over 1 plus 0, 1 over 12 12 times 25 minus 1. You got 5 million, 0 0.1 over 12, 1 plus 0 0.1 over 12, 12 times 25 minus 1. Gives you 3,768 Girl, if you need to go, just go. And please don't throw the door. <coughs> Let's look at number four. number four. Number four is on page 65. Okay. We told that Jeremy decided to save money for 10 years. So your end is going to be 10. At the end of each year, starting one month from now. So is there a variation on the end? No. He deposits 1,000 Rand into the fund and continues to do so for a period of 10 years. Interest is 10% per annum. Effective. Okay. So this is a yearly interest rate. That is compounded here. Calculate the final value of the investments. In other words, I'm calculating if we did. Okay. A very important here that the investment is made on a monthly basis. However, the, com the interest is given compounded um, annually. So, the, the, the investment frequency is not in line with the interest frequency. So in that case, I need to con do the conversion. Using the formula, 1 plus i effective is equal to 1 plus i to the m over m to the exponent m. Okay? So that would simply be 1 plus 10%, so 0 comma 1 is equal to 1 plus i, calculating compounded monthly, that this 12 don't have any bearing on that i, to the exponent to uh, 12. So that's going to give you 1 comma 1. I take the 12 for root both sides. And then take the 1 over, multiply it by 12. 100 will then give me my rate compounded month. Okay. You put that in our calculator. So it's going to be open brackets, the 12 for root of 1.1. Minus 1, multiplied by 12, multiplied by 100. You get the rate. It's 9 comma 5, 7. So the rate is 9 comma 5, 7 compounded monthly. Okay, you don't need a 12 then. Let's put here compounded. Compounded monthly. Now we have enough information to then use our formula, which is fv is equal to x into 1 plus i to the exponent n minus 1 all over i. 
Make a deposit of a thousand rand, so it's thousand into one plus zero comma zero nine seven a five seven over twelve to the exponent twelve times ten minus one and this is all over i which is zero comma zero nine five seven over twelve. Let's put in that calculator. It's going to be a thousand rand into one plus zero. Compare this to the answer in the calculator divided by twelve hundred to the exponent twelve times ten. Which I could have just put hundred and twenty minus one. And this is all over. That answer divided by 12. Okay. They give an answer of 199,875 rand, 863 rand, and 85 cents. In the textbook, they have 199,875 rand and 60 cents. The reason for that is because they use the rounded off answer, which is 0, comma. 0957 okay so in the exam we will uh, we will accept both answers it says 199,863 and 86 all right so with that you should be able to do exercise 2